by the Hari Host of Haga coming at you to the community. Let's stick together. Sarasota, Florida is where our common king lives. Traveled across the oceans when he was a kid. Now living the American dream, all down to hard work. Estimate time of arrival, Nick. Damn, your boss was a jerk. Iron Man 150, that's where it started. We've all heard the story, sweet and lighthearted. Flipping through pages, absorbing the art. Mail up in Perez, but that was just the start. Now Adams blew his mind, Boucher my mastermind, and Romita, oh wow, mighty fine. Everybody loves ETA Nick, ETA Nick, ETA Nick. Everybody loves ETA Nick, and ETA Nick loves comic books. ETA Nick! Hello, welcome to a series that I call Wham! <laughs> W-A-M! what a month and i get the inspiration for this series of video from watching a lot of new halls videos wednesday halls you know where other youtubers show off the newly acquired books that they bought at the lcs each week and since i don't buy any new books off the rack I thought it would be fun to go back in time and pick out a few months that would stand out as awesome months for those that bought books off the rack. Okay, what a month! Wham! And to start out this series, I have no idea how many video of this series I would do, but for now, this is the first. April 1971 if for those that were lucky enough to be buying the books off the rack April 1971 OMG I can't say enough about how awesome that month is okay incredible we're talking new Adams at the height well it's hard to pinpoint when is the height of the new Adams popularity, but April 1971. Here we have this awesome flash cover. My goodness. New Adams did quite a few, not as many f um, flash covers as you know Superman and Batman, but who wouldn't like this cover, right? So that's one, and of course, one of his many uh, DC covers for that month, here's one that I have. There are quite a few other books that I did not uh, use for this video because I don't have the book, but I, I tried to pull together books that I have. Okay, so here's another awesome Superboy cover, always love that purple. Now, if you're a Marvel fanboy, during this month, April, you have this great issue 7 of Conan. Gotta love this cover. Look at that cover. Barry Smith. Inside, you got the art of Barry Smith and, I believe, Dan Atkins and Sal Bushima doing the inking. Yeah, look at that. Good time, good time, huh? I just scratched the surface, trust me. There's much more to come. Like I said, New Adams was at his height and here he is at the near the end of his historic runs on Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Love this cover. Love the covers of almost every issue of this run, but April 1971. Of course, as he was ending his run on the Green Lantern, in the same month, Marvel Avengers kicking off the famous Kree and Crow War. One of the best cosmic battle of all time. Look at that. 
Just look at this. This is the pre Neil Adams uh, involvement, but still, this book kicked off the Cree and the Crow War. Gorgeous book. You know, I didn't realize how awesome April 1971 was until I started to go through my collection. I have a tons of bronze books. I probably have more bronze books than Silver Age for sure. So, Spidey Fan. An awesome Gil Kane cover. Great, great, great book. Okay. Beautiful, gorgeous art inside. A Spidey fan would not be disappointed with this book. With this book. So. And one of my favorite Bronze Age Hulk cover. Okay. Always been a huge fan of this cover. Beautiful. The color scheme of this cover always wow me. Always. There's something about the green, the yellow, the light red, and then um, the shade of blue. Not sure uh, there's anything special with it, but it just work. Everything about this cover, the color scheme works. I just love it. What do you think? Gosh. And I'm a huge fan of uh, John Severin, and inside you have, of course, you know, the Herb Trimpey with the ink by John Severin. Great stuff. Love this cover. Doc Samson. This book deserves its own spotlight on one of these days, but man. Are we getting hotter? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Need I say more? Need I say more about April 1971? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh-huh. What did I say? What a month, okay? And the hits keep coming. Holy moly. One of the more iconic Batman book out there. Raja Ghoul. Raja Ghoul. OMG. April 1971. Keep that. Remember that month. Okay. I am here to say that possibly one of the best month. If not the best month of 1971. It would be hard to find a better month, a more exciting month for 1971. Come on now. Oh, come on. Unbelievable. Yeah? You want to see more of April 1971? Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe that? What a month! What a month! Last but not least, like I said, there's a lot more that is, is special for that month, but I pull out my favorite. Last but not least is Vampirella issue 12. Great issue, but what makes it so special? What makes this book so special? It kicked off. It's the first work of Jose Gonzalez, the great artist that are known for Vampirella, the man that responsible to that that drew so many awesome issues of Vampirella for the next many years. So here is his introduction to this issue. Here is his introduction to the comic book fan in the U.S. Vampirella Twelve. The intro of Jose Gonzalez. And that concludes what I would think and believe is one of the best, if not the best month of 1971. What do you think? Let me know what you think. I would love to have other people carry on this series. Okay? Let me say this again. 
any videos that I do is free for anyone else to piggyback. Okay, I'm not one to get offended if somebody borrow swipe. For all I know, I might be swiping somebody's idea right now. But for those that like this idea, like this concept of the video, I love to see other people make videos like this where you can pull together some awesome books for any given month and do a video. I like to find out what other month, months qualify for wham. Thanks for watching. Bye.